Well, hey guys, and thank you very much for tuning in. If you've been following this channel for a while, a lot of you will know that my go-to shooting sticks for some time have been the Primos trigger sticks, along with the Nate Vision clamp in more recent times. It's a great, lightweight, and relatively inexpensive tripod system that offers great versatility out in the field, whether it be rat shooting or indeed on the foxes. But I've also been quite curious uh, for some time now. These really expensive tripod systems that you see many people using, are they worth the money and can they actually improve your shooting? Well, I was offered the opportunity from Scott Country International to try out the Recon uh, tripod system. Now this one uh, is a bit of a beast. This is the CT3 HD uh, 260 Ripped Mark uh, Ripley Signature Series tripod. Um, one of the most premium products in the marketplace. Um, now I've had it on test, if you've seen any of my social media posts, um, I had it on test for quite a while. So I'm gonna give you my no holds barred, um, pros, cons, top tips for using it, and ultimately, is it worth your investment? So without further ado, let's have a closer look at this impressive piece of kit. Made from carbon fiber and aluminium, this is a relatively lightweight. Um, he says, um, my first impression when I took it out of the box was, cool, that's a bit of a lump. Um, you'll certainly know that you're carrying it around with you, uh, but my other overwhelming impression was how solid um, it is made. It is not anywhere near as thin as a lot of the shooting six you'll see on the market. In fact, this has probably got to be one of the chunkiest systems out there. The legs are a good couple of inches thick. Um, the ball joint is massive uh, and you've got a very solid uh, mount on top. This particular one is the VM1, uh, which hosts a very neat um, knob at the side there. Great for gripping um, in all weather conditions and also with gloves on. And then also a unique uh, Picatinny rail for adding a multitude of attachments such as IR torches, torches, lasers, um, anything else you could think of uh, mounting on the side. Uh, the ball joint itself is controlled with this knob here which needs probably a quarter turn, probably a little bit more than that actually if you've not got anything uh, weight in it and you've got an incredibly smooth ball joint on the head here um, and then you've also got um, great lateral control um, here on the main part of the body. It's super smooth um, and it's great for panning across. In fact, in the last foxing video I did, um, I was watching a fox at a good 400 yards out in the field, panned along it and it was just super smooth. Probably could have took the shot um, from that distance if my name was Mark Ripley as well. You've also got on the underside of it, pretty difficult to see, but you've got quite a substantial hook. Um, so when the um, tripod is deployed and everything's out, um, it should make um, for a nice coat rack as well. I'm just kidding, but I have actually used it um, to hang my spotter and stuff like that, or my coat on it, um, if I'm out in the field um, hunting for the fox I've just shot in long grass, etc, etc. So, um, so that's it, it's chunky, it's well made, um, we know it's quite expensive, but again we'll address that I think at the end. Now one of the most useful things I found to do after having the sticks out for a couple of times is to set the bottom proportion of the legs. So there are three um, knuckles, if you like, um, which do extend out a good way. Um, so bear in mind I am um, five foot eight, um, probably five foot nine with a decent heel, um, only at weekends. Um, I set mine here probably about six inches, five, six inches out because that suits perfectly my height when the legs are deployed. Um, also at this size, um, it's a perfect size really for nicely putting into the truck in the footwell or in the boot of it uh, without leaving it fully extended. Um, and again, after a short few outings with it, I soon found it fairly easy and quick to deploy. But there we are, by having these feet um, permanently around, like I said, five to six inches out, when I deploy the legs, um, the top two sections fully, they're already at the perfect height uh, for me to take my shots. I've got, I then get a nice wide stance, a little bit back from the, um, from the, from the rest, put the rifle in uh, and slightly lean in to take the shot. 
The other major benefit of having this system is because predominantly I do two types of shooting on foxes. Uh, I'm either out the roof of the Land Rover, off the bipod, and if I'm not, um, if it's on land that you can't drive across but you might be able to walk in and stalk into the known locations, um, it's brilliant for the hands-free shooting, just like I did uh, in the previous video, to bag five foxes off of one farm. I can get into, a, into an area, having already deployed the legs to the right length, you know, carrying them over, like I said, with this um, arm here, uh, deploy them, get set up with a rifle, so that's all ready to go. I can call, put my spotter out, you know, sight the fox. I'm completely hands-free. Um, I can put my caller out in the field. Um, I can then, you know, put the call remotely from my pocket, use my uh, hands-free completely to have a good scan around. Um, if I need to move this, because this is all fairly ridges and not moving anywhere, um, I have actually learned that I can pick it up here and just walk a few steps forward if I need to move um, ever so slightly, you know, back or forward. Um, uh, again, it's not the lightest thing in the world, but a little bit of muscle memory um, helps in that respect. You can pick it up and move it um, if you need to. If you don't want it to move at all, um, you can nip that up with just half a twist. Um, so now it's a lot more rigid. Um, it just lends itself to being really, really useful. If you forget, you know, that, that ball isn't coming out. My rifle is not light uh, and that will allow itself to kind of go all the way down and back um, like that, you know. Um, they're just a quality, quality uh, product. So yeah, after having it now for several weeks, I am really not looking forward to having to send it back. So after having the Recon tripod system now for a good few weeks and having used it in the field, I'm just gonna share with you some top tips uh, that I found that should help you get the most out of using these sticks. Uh, so we'll start with the top down. Um, just air on the side of caution and make sure that you open the clamp fully when you lower the rifle down into it. Um, this solid alloy clamp is very firm and if you've got a nice stock on a rifle, um, there is a danger that you could catch it on the corner of that and put a nice little dent uh, in the bottom of the rifle. So just be careful. Um, the clamp itself, when it's done up, you know, it's safe. Your rifle's not going anywhere, so that's really good. Um, but that'd be top tip number one. Secondly, would be to ensure that you lock off this second lateral movement here. So uh, the system moves on this collar here, and it also moves on this lower one. I'm not too sure why you need two lots of lateral movement. Uh, but what I do is lock this one off so that um, the knob that controls how tight the clamp is and then the knob that controls the ball joint are in line. That way, in the dark, in the heat of the moment, when you need to deploy the sticks and you know where everything is, um, there's no risk of those two things um, kind of, you know, laterally moving out of sync. Everything's lined up uh, and where it needs to be. And then lastly, in deploying the sticks uh, for speed and ease of use, uh, make sure that you keep that third knuckle continuously at the right length for your height. That way, you only need to undo um, the two knuckles on each leg uh, so that when you deploy the sticks, and again, using the foam pad bit towards you, uh, what I do is kind of pull them apart and then push away from me. Uh, that way, when you deploy, everything's at the right height already when you take the shot and again if you know that you've got this foam pad towards you um, you know exactly where these two things are rifle on tighten it up take the shot nice and easy the other thing with having it like this is um, a little bit of leaning into the shot um, means that that front leg there is is kind of taking any strain of, of pushing forward um, if you have it slightly off kilter there is a risk you could push it away from you and plus the legs are neatly apart that you're not going to accidentally kick um, any of the legs making undue noise uh, or anything of that nature there. So those are my top tips for getting the best out of using the Recon tripod system. So then my final thoughts on the Recon CT3 HD uh, 260 RIPS Signature um, Edition uh, tripod. So first of all, the name is quite a mouthful. Um, they probably should shorten the model number down a little bit, but I guess we're nitpicking. Um, I said at the beginning, I'd also address the elephant in the room as well in terms of the price tag. You know, um, if you're a prolific foxer, professional stalker of any description, 
um, and you want to increase your confidence levels at taking things slightly further than you otherwise would, um, 100% this needs to be on your shopping list. I am so not looking forward uh, to them asking for this back, so much so that um, it depends how good a boy I've been this year, but I might even ask uh, the missus for one for Christmas. Uh, my mates that come out with me or go out with me, the keeper, Rick, um, Steve and Dwayne, etc., um, they are all in an agreement that this is the most stable platform that they've shot off. Um, is it cheap? Um, I think it's relative, you know, um, when you've got, you know, rifles that are, are, are over a thousand pound and scopes that are a good couple of thousand quid, um, is skimping on the sticks that actually um, allow you to be able to shoot further? Is that such a bad thing? Probably not, you know, it's not going to be for everybody, um, you know, um, it's probably a bit extreme for the close quarter stuff, so for ra rabbiting. Um, and ratting then there's nothing wrong with the Primos trigger stick system uh, but for definitely longer range varminting, target shooters, um, you know prolific foxes such as myself uh, this should certainly feature very high on your list of things to get. So there we go I hope the video has been useful for you in some kind of way I'm now off out foxing as it's getting darker um, so thank you very much for watching take care stay safe and as always happy shooting.